hey YouTube, welcome to another video. I will be away for uh, Thanksgiving holiday, so I will not be able to do a Let's Configure video as that requires a lot of reading, test, verification, configuration, basically a lot of time. So today I will be sharing a post that a Redditor thank me for regarding his ACL inquiries that I saw on Reddit several days ago. So these types of inquiries are mostly left unanswered on the Reddit forum because not many are familiar with the granular ACLs. In fact, in the early days of Omada, there are many videos showing the use of ACL that blocks an IoT VLAN to home VLAN, but that also blocks home VLAN from accessing the IoT VLAN which is not what many users are expecting as they are expecting it to work like other platforms meaning a one-way stateful ACL and it was and still is one of the many reasons why users dislike the Omada platform it was never an issue for me because I am able to work around it I have tried posting on many of my solutions as you will see in my really old videos eventually Umada did provide the gateway LAN to LAN stateful ACL between VLANs However, that still did not address an even more granular way of land-to-land -land ACL. So as a general tip, when working with ACLs in Nomada, always remember that by default, VLANs are permitted to everything. And when creating any ACL that prohibits some and allows some, think of it as whitelisting. Once you fully grasp this mindset with Nomada, a lot of things becomes easier and a bit more clear. So in this video, I will cover one such scenario in this post by the Redditor Lucky-Web5340. So as you can see here, this is by Lucky-Web5340 11 days ago. I already posted my solutions here, so you don't really have to read this post, but basically He's got four VLANs, his focus is on IoT VLAN, he wants some IoT devices to have access to the internet and he wants some IoT devices to be fully blocked from accessing the internet and in the future his IoT VLAN should be able to access the admin VLAN but in this particular video we'll use certain scenarios and we'll use certain use cases but we're going to address his main concerns and then address the secondary concerns. Okay so let's get on with the configuration. Okay, so as you can see, I have created the four VLANs as described in the use case or the scenario. I have here the LAN, which is the admin. This is the VLAN one. I have the main VLAN 110. I have the IoT VLAN 120 and the guest VLAN 120. As you can see here, the VLAN 120 already have an ACL associated with it. Because this will be the main focus of our configuration here. And before we continue, let's just take a quick look at the clients and how they are aligned to the VLANs so you can see here for the main I have two clients in here we're mostly going to use the playbox 4 which is 192.168.110.102 and the main focus is the IOT so these are the three IOT clients in here for demonstration purpose the 102 and 101 will be the ones that will have access to the internet 120.100 will not have access to the internet but they are all in the IoT VLAN Fire Machine is if we're going to need it for demo and this is my main PC, this is the PC that I'm using for recording, this is the media PC so how do we go about the configuration? so if we're going to have some devices going to have some access and some devices will not have access the mindset is going to be whitelisting so for whitelisting i always start with the profiles so groups and they usually define which devices will be denied or which devices will be permitted for this particular case i created the group of devices that will be permitted i call them children of god two clients that will be permitted for internet so that will be 192.168.120.101 and the other one is 102 and I'm using a slash 32 to signify that it's a single host so there are two hosts identified here and defined here for the children of God profile group and if I needed more I'll just add more in here so click cancel I have here another custom profile group which is port 22 I'm going to use this to demonstrate the more granular accessing of one VLAN to another and port 53 will be used for blocking the internet for the IoT VLAN. So now let's go on with the ACL configuration. 
So as you can see, I don't have any gateway ACL and I don't have any EAP ACL. The assumption here is that all IOTs will be wired. But even if they are wireless, the same ACLs will still apply. For demonstration purposes, all the ACLs are currently disabled. We're going to address first the first use case, which is some of the IoT devices will be able to access the internet while the others will not be able to access the internet. So this one is the 120.100. This one is the one that we're going to deny access to the internet. This is one of the IoT device that will have access to the internet. Okay. And the IP address should be the same, 120.101. 120.101, let's put it here. And I cannot use a browser here because these are Pi Zero Ws and they are very slow and they are not compatible with the browser. And this one is 120.102 and 120.102. Okay, so let's first demonstrate that they can access the internet as you can see here. There you go. As you can see, I can ping Google here. So control break, control break, and control break. Before I start showing you the details and demonstration, I just want to have you look at how the ACLs are currently defined. So you can see these are the sources, these are the destinations. So you can quickly see how my ACLs are defined. For whitelisting towards internet access, I have this number 4 ACL and I have number 1 ACL. So now let's deny the internet access. So that will result to this one not being able to ping google.com same for this one and same for this one as you can see later on they will give up saying they are not able to access name resolution service or something like that okay. but this one is temporary failure in name resolution same thing here and same thing here so now let's permit two devices which which are the godchild so, so this one will still not have access however this one will now have access and this one will now have So as you can see here, these two are still going, and this one has given up. Okay, so control C, break, and control C, break. So that's pretty much how I resolve this issue. As you can see here, I have these two ACLs. But in this video, we will go a little bit further. Because he did mention he wants his IoT VLAN to have certain access to certain services or servers in another VLAN. So for the use case that I prepared here, I'm going to deny IoT to access the main VLAN. So VLAN 120 will not be able to access VLAN 110. However, I will allow certain granular access which is SSH to be able to go through between IoT VLAN and main VLAN. So for the time being, let's go to the clients first and let me check the clients and let me duplicate this one so that I can easily go back and forth without having to go through the configuration again. So we have 102 which is in VLAN 110, VLAN main, so let's do that ping. 192.168.110.102 That one works And 192.168.110.102 That one works And 192.168.110.102 That one works Control C Control C Control C Instead of ping, I'm gonna do SSH pi at, and you can see I can access it. SSH pi, 
as you can see I can access it and this one is SSH uh, SSH part and there you go as you can see all of them can have access to it now I'm going to block it now so let me go here go to settings network security ACL it's the same approach some services can be accessed from the IOT to main while other services cannot be accessed from IOT to main so we do the same thing we just block everything and let's look at what happened this time around if I do a ping it's not replying if I do a ping not replying and if I do a ping it's not replying as you can see control C control C and control C now let's do SSH same thing SSH and you can see that none of them are also working let's look at this one first this is the first one I tried so it's still trying to do SSH and because of our ACL it's not allowing the SSH to even go through okay so let me control break control break and control break so now let's allow SSH to main there we go and let's try that command again there you go as you can see here there you go here and let's try it again here as well and there you go so let me enter a password here as you can see I was able to log in to playbox 4 this one is a different console now so if I type AT ADR it will show the IP address of the playbox 4 which is this one 102 there is. so let me just break this one and in here let's ping 192.168.1.1.0.102 it, it will not work the same thing here it will not work if I try to ping any of the IOT IP address as you can see the ping is not being allowed however if I SSH to the Pi machine so this Pi machine has no restriction it can access everything so this one should be able to ping everything I can ping 168.110.102 I can ping one, the 120 which is in the IOT VLAN 101. There you go. So this one is the Pi machine. And if I do IP ADDR, you will see that this one is the 192.168.0.106. There you go. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it. We have sold this particular post from Reddit. We have allowed some devices in iot to gain access to the internet while others still don't have any access to the internet we also create a setup where in in the future he can edit that port profile group and add any devices that will have access or he can do the reverse add the devices in there that will not have access i also created another setup in here and set of acls that will prepare the network to be able to allow granular network services such as SSH, FTP, DNS, CNC, however services is required from one VLAN to another. I think that's pretty much it for now. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you don't like this video, please give it a dislike. But do let me know what I can improve on this video so that I can further enhance my future videos. Thank you again for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.